Hey there everyone, how are we all? Simon back here again for another episode of The Sign. I hope you're all way, I hope you're safe as always and I hope you keep keeping safe as always too. So we sort of just got towards the end of the sort of like, um, all the, well the, the three people, Norma, Henry and Cedric coming out of the home. They got sort of trapped in, uh, they got trapped into a lock room, um, water building up and everything. Gabriella frightened us about three or four times, um, literally crapped my pants, God knows how many times. Um, but they're sort of now on the way back and hopefully things are good. And obviously our sister, she is living with a person who has basically two personalities. So anyway, so let's get back into it. So it looks like we are going to chat to Nora. Just check your Insta, great pics. Mm. You little stalker. Very cheeky. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. I've gotten that. Sorry, folks. Anyway, now you have one more sexy follower. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, dear. Still feel kind of, dr I'm kind of drunk. Well, couldn't really sleep either because I kept thinking about something. Oh. I see. And what about? I hope this has absolutely nothing to do with us, Nora, because we are sort of trying to... I mean, I wonder if they sort of try to force you to sort of try to get with her anyway, because like I said, in the last sort of sort of, last sort of time I played this, they sort of... I went in the sort of like the bad direction, sort of like, yeah, flirted with her, this and that, blah, blah, and then sort of like another sort of like different storyline sort of came. Anyway... Let's read this. I'm so happy we have such a great friendship. We haven't even met yet, but we get along so well. It's kind of crazy, don't you think? You know where we call this, well, whatever that means. It means something like soulmates. Yeah, I feel the same way. It would be nice. She does say friendship. Now, let's be honest. Or oh, is this... Yeah, I think this is the question... Where everything changes. I, th I think this might be the question. I'm not too sure. To be brutally honest. We get asked a certain question. I don't know if it's now or whenever. But uh, we are going to put the opposite to what we put last time. Anyway. Just after this question. It's about what I text last night. I remember. Remember drunk people and little kids always tell the truth. Well to a certain extent. Hopefully I won't regret this. Mm-hmm. I've got a feeling this is it. Anyway, I'll just say it now. I want you. Oh. Wow. Okay. She deletes the message. I better stop this, right? Come on, you started this. Just get it out, Nora, because at the end of the day, it seems like... Just get it out. Okay, no guts, no glory. Can you imagine can you imagine more happening on our evening? You know what I mean. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. What's going over? So I think they are actually Oh, what's going on there? Shit. Do you know what I mean? We're going to go, obviously, like I say, we go yes, we go yes, and then obviously, like I say, but we actually are going to go no. I just sort of hope it doesn't, oh, I mean, I like you, but we should leave it at that. Oh, shall we put that? So it sort of looks like it does sort of force into it because you'll probably read the text because it says, I like you, but we should leave it that. So, sorry, but I don't want a relationship with one night stand at the moment. So, so like I say, Leah says that. Sorry, but I just don't want time for this right now. So we can either be nasty, sort of let her down gently, or sort of keep her with us, I suppose. I like you, but we should leave it at that. No, it's fair enough, and you know you you gotta be sort of you know 
Okay, Shane. I know, Nora. I know. Anyway. I'll say this is a bit of a mad one. Listen, I know where I'm at. I have no space for other thoughts again. Okay. Just bear with me, thanks, in two seconds, because I think I can hear my cat wanting to come in. Be back in a bit. To worry, folks, not safe. Um, so now back anyway. Okay, Shane, it's no answer. I thought uh, somehow I feel embarrassed. I've asked you. I'm gonna hop out of bed and put some clothes on later. So, obviously, we've left Nora in a bit of disappointment, so that's not good, is it? But anyway, we've gone for the opposite storyline, like I say, compared to the like I say last one. It sort of because then it sort of went on, and then it sort of went on, and then it sort of went on. Anyway, hello, everyone. I have I had a very pleasant phone call with Mr. Betchell. Well, Mr. Betchell was very surprised to find out I'm interested in this particular object. After some small talk, however, I was able to extract a highly interesting piece of information from There's indeed a death connected with this house. Wow, for real? Oh my god, I knew it. Finally, we're on the right track. Yes, we are, Jonathan. We are on the right track indeed. Were you able to identify the owner of the house? Yes, that's sort of could lead us to another sort of site. Unfortunately, not. Although the men, although he mentioned to have saved, excuse me, saved the data of the homeowners on his computer. However, he's not allowed to disclose these for data protection reasons. No, we're not doing that. Then we simply have to break in there. Well, can you get access to data somehow? Mm-hmm. Wolf, can you access get access to the data somehow? I'm a hacker, not a wizard. <laughs> well, that is very true. Though some of the stuff he does on the computer is just absolutely like madness. Anyway, please let me finish the story. All right, all right. Calm your shit, Professor. I was able to convince him to meet with me in the person at the at his office. And as the devil would have it, this is just five minutes from my house. Guys, this is our chance. This is our chance. It's only a, I just need the IP address of his computer. Oh dear, does that mean we have to uh, do whatever? If you can find it out, it should be easy for me to get the contact information. Mm hmm. Wolf, please, how am I supposed to get this IP address? Oh dear, looks like we're going to do some hacking. Wait for it. It's a piece of cake. You just need an undisturbed moment. That is computer. Ah, oh, so they might not need us then. I suppose it's a good thing. So we need to come up with some kind of distraction for Mr. Re uh, Relator. I'd be happy to do it. Oh, Kiara. That's so disgusting. Well, a distraction is a distraction, I suppose. and get the job done. And how are you going to do that? Uh, Scar will come up with something. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the pretty little blonde. Okay, I'll just come up with something as I go. That's the one, Kiara. You do that. Professor, please let me know as soon as you get there. Yep. As you wish, Kiara. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just change real quick. Then I'll get on the road, right on the road. Bloody hell, Henry. We're back home now too. Great. Good. Fingers crossed everything works out. You go to your bottle of wine, Norma. God, what piss her she is. Jeez. And Henry, I'll drop off the whiskey, I promised you. Oh, God. All of you should keep a clear head. Damn straight, yeah. I reckon that's the best thing to put in the situation like this. Jesus, after all, I still have to make it up to Fonzie. <sighs> Tell you what, normally you should just go home and chill, love. Jesus Christ. Back home to...
Professor Kiara, you got this. Ah, oh, we got a message from our trying, well, sort of, I suppose I sort of knew, well, sort of, sort of like ex, now sort of new girlfriends. Can I ask you something? Sure, with a smiley face would be nice. Pick the right option, Simon, we'll be alright. I'm just hoping it doesn't force us into sort of like, like, so I don't know, some like Gabriel take over and I text like it's done before and then sort of like, and it turns into something, you know. Lovely Nora. Do you know this girl? Shit, no, it's not letting us do anything. Why is it not letting us press right? Oh, there we go. Yes, sure, I'm a two, so what's going on? Sure, I'm a tutor, two what's going on? Well, she just messaged me on Insta. Uh oh. Uh oh. Really weird. Yeah, she is a bit of an oddball, but then again, you know, we can't all be perfect, Leah. We can't all be perfect. This is real cute. Do you still meet him often? Why do you still have pictures of you two and your girl? I totally understand your data. I think he's amazing. Wow. Okay. That's a bit weird. Just me. No one knows I'm not interested in her. Leah, trust me. Leah knows I'm not interested in her. We'll say it literally straight to the point, you know, because she's obviously getting hints and ideas. Then I just thought you'd be interested. Well, we're not interested, so my eyes are only on you, Leah. Getting back with your ex partner, that's just like, wow. Well, Jesus Christ. Whiskey's wagging its tail, he needs to go outside. Talk to you later. So that sort of ended better. I think last time I saw we got into a sort of bit of an argument. Anyway, Nora's back. Hey, got a minute? I mean, Nora shouldn't be sort of messaging her, sort of getting this and that sort of thing. I think she's trying to stir stuff up, if you know what I mean. Sure, did you change your mind? Um, not quite. It's about Leah. Yeah, we're going to get to the point with this. I uh, DM'd her on Insta just before. Is that what it's all about? I'll show you. This is a pair of her saying no. I'm sure, you could I guess I wouldn't be happy about that. Well, we'll be, we'll be. It's sort of like you have to sort of be. I mean, I could be nasty, really nasty, but then again, I don't know. Don't get so worked up. Well, you shouldn't be. I didn't mean any harm by it. Good, good. I'm sorry, okay. Okay, but please stop it now. We'll tell her straight, Nora. I'm telling you straight, love. Don't. Don't take the piss. <laughs> Literally, don't take the piss. Oh, dear. Anyway, like I say. I promise it won't happen again. So the the storyline with this between the so-called love triangle is sort of like it sort of looks like this is sort of like going the right road I wanted to go. I know it's more exciting going down the sort of the opposite way, but it's just like I say, it's just a pain in the ass. Anyway, she goes, I promise it won't happen again. And to make sure you believe me, I'm deleting the messages I sent to your ex. Talk to you later. Lovely job. So we ain't got much time left, so we're gonna have a little chat of the old mum. And uh, like I said, the mum, our mum, shall I say on this. Hello, sweetheart, do you have a few minutes? Would love to tell you about my idea. For you, always, mum. I hope this don't go on for too long, because, like I say, it's a bit of a weird. Bless her. Have a guess what it's about. Um, Not a clue. Here's a hint. A dream is about to come true for me. I'm going to get a dog. This is a big. Open up a bakery. I don't know. Something. Oh. Cat's just decided to come in. Sort of say hello. You're heading in the right direction. Sorry. Just striking my cat. Hello Tommy. Oh, big ginger toms. 
That's why it's called Tommy. Is a ginger Tom? Uh, your father and I have been around the world quite a bit, and I've tasted the most delicious baked goods in many countries. Black Forest cake in Germany, delicious powder de cuisine in in Brazil, or the best sakura mochi in Japan. Your homemade delicious, or your homemade delicious cheesecake, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> No, I ain't had cheesecake. I can't recall having cheesecake. I you know. I've also baked all these goodies at home. I was really happy with the results. Even your father liked them. And he is often my biggest critic. <laughs> oh, dear. Still waiting for the revelation. Sorry, Tom. So I'll be there in a minute. My cat wants a bit of fuss. Coming now, my darling. So... So what? What do you want me to say, Mr. Man? Before the cruise, Frank and Tanya were here for dinner, and I baked them a, I baked a cream, a baked cream cakes for dessert. They were so blown away they suggested I write bacon, a baking book. And that's when it hit me. I could write a baking book with the recipes from all over the world. Wow! What a great idea! Great idea! And I could finally share my passion with the world. That's a fantastic, well, it is a fantastic idea, to be fair. Very good idea. Honestly? Yeah, of course. Why not? Share your sort of ideas and that's the world to everyone, isn't it? It's the way, you know, I already have an idea for a title. <laughs> Around the door with the bacon tray. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. It sounds good. I like, I like it. It's quite funny. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, it just made you laugh, didn't it? Anyway, let's get all crazy now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, wait until you see the book cover first. Frank is in the factor. Graphic designer is in the process of designing one for me. I still can't believe it. My own book. I've always dreamed of this. Oh dear, nice one. Well, I'm hoping this sort of conversation comes to an end because we've gone way past 15 minutes anyway. I'll have to carry on, formulate recipes, and experiment with new things. Exactly, that's the way of sort of, like I say, it's for <laughs> Professor Kruger. Okay, everyone, I'm ready to go. I'm standing right outside Dr. Bechtel's office. Kiera. Are you on your way? Okay, it's a bit weird. <laughs> bit of a weird, uh, yeah. That's quite scary, doesn't he? Thank you for your opinion, sweetheart. Not a problem. Not a problem, indeed. So I'm hoping. So there we go, folks. That is it for another episode of The Sign. So we will be back another time. Might do later on, might do another episode later on, depending on the situation. So, but... As for now, this is it. So, folks, I will catch you another time for more of the signs. So, speak to you soon. And as always, take care and stay safe. And by the way, very quickly before I go, uh, smash a like on this video and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. So, take care, folks, and stay safe as always. And I shall speak to you for more of the signs.